Today, I'm going to be giving you a detailed review and comparison between these three male home fertility tests. I'm going to start off with the ICVA. Now, the ICVA test involves collecting a sample, adding some of that sample into a solution, and then putting some of the solution and sample into a test strip. It will consist of a control line and a test line. Two lines represents a positive result, which for this particular test means 15 million count per milliliter. Now, I found that the instructions for this test was very difficult to read. The print was very small, and there were a lot of typos and grammatical errors, as you can see by all the red markings that I have here. At one point, it even mentions urine, which is not what we're testing for. And there are certain timelines and other issues that I've noticed with the instructions. Now, the test results were also very faint. Uh, I have had my sperm tested in a lab, and I can tell you that I should have positive results. But this test showed a very, very faint line, which still signifies positive, um, but it's, it is borderline and probably not very definitive. Now for the sperm check test, this is a very similar test that also has a test strip. Now I found that this uh, test strip was much more definitive. As you can see here, the line is much more bold, and this had a higher success metric as well. This measures for 25 million count per milliliter versus the 15. And so I'm not sure why this was more bold versus this. I also like that there is a built-in uh, function with the box where you can place your solution bottle so that's stable and you don't have to worry about it tipping over as you're adding your sample. I found these instructions very easy to read. There weren't any grammatical errors or typos or anything like that. Uh, it was very large instruction pamphlet, large font size, and the pictures were very clear. They even had a uh, manual um, for a quick, quick guide that you could follow if you didn't want to read all the instructions. The syringe for the sperm check test was also very intuitive. There's only one line, so you know exactly how much of your sample you need to add to the solution. Versus the ICVIA, that syringe was, well, there were so many lines and numbers. I could see someone potentially not getting the right amount of sample into their solution mix. Finally, there's the Yo male fertility test. This actually provides you with a test result, which is a video of your actual swimmers. It measures the motility of your swimmers and not just the count of your sperm. Motility in my eyes is a much more uh, important metric because those are actual uh, sperm that is swimming and moving versus sperm that may be dead or not moving at all. I also like the fact that this comes with two kits, so there's room for potential human error and you can try again. But really you don't need to because the instructions are built in into the application and they walk you step by step through the process. It comes with a slide where you add the sample after a, the prerequisite time, liquefying and into the solution. You add it onto that slide and then you insert it right into the device and after a few minutes it analyzes and gives you that video along with a score of how it measures and ranks up against other men who have taken this uh, taken this test. I also like that the Yo male fertility test comes in multiple packs. It comes with two uh, as the starter kit but you can also do the four pack or the six pack along with the device. Now if you decide to go with the two and you find that you need more kits later on you can just buy the replacement kits. You don't need to buy the whole device again. Overall, between these three, I would go with the Yo male fertility test. It's highly versatile. Um, you get more bang for your buck, and it's just a much more cleaner, better experience um, than these two. But if I understand that you are on a budget, I would go with the sperm check and have the one test included there versus the ICEVA. Thank you for watching and have a great day.